We're gonna tell you how to financially prepare your move abroad in five steps. Hey friends, I'm Matteo, this is Misha, and we are the Global Expats. If you're new to our channel and you're interested in travel, or you want tips, tricks, and inspiration for life abroad, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. So, the first thing you should do is research the cost of living and look at the currency conversion. In this research phase, you'll be able to gain an understanding of how much things will cost in your new country, such as housing, utilities, transportation, food, and even clothes. This will really help you because then you'll be able to come down to a figure of your estimated monthly expenses. In the description below, we've added some links that are really helpful in calculating the cost of living from where you currently live to where you wish to move to. And for keeping an eye on currency conversion, we use the currency exchange app that you see here that gives you a real-time update of all the fluctuating currencies. After you've gotten an idea of what your monthly expenses are going to be, what the currency conversion is looking like, that leads us to step number two. Set a financial goal. Figure out how much you're going to need to save before you make your move abroad. A good rule of thumb is to save up enough money to support yourself for three months in your new country just as a buffer. Whether you're moving to a job abroad or whether you plan on finding one when you get there, having a three month financial buffer will just help to cover any additional costs that you maybe didn't consider before leaving. And also with startup costs, such as your first month's rent or the security deposit, or maybe you need to even furnish your new apartment or house. And guys, just a heads up, it may be easy to come to a figure that you need to save for, but remember to consider your own spending habits. Do you like to indulge in eating out or do you go out drinking with your friends often? Are you a fan of Broadway and that's where your additional money goes. Just remember to factor these additional costs into your savings goal. Once you've set a savings goal, that leads us on to step number three. How much can you currently save per month after your expenses? You will have to calculate how much you currently spend per month and figure out what is the bare minimum you can save every month after your expenses, because this will impact how long it's gonna take you to hit your savings goal, which leads us to step number four. Figure out your timeline and set a date. Now that you know how much you will be able to save per month, you will be able to calculate how long it would take you to reach your savings goal. And based on this, you will be able to get a rough estimate of when you will be able to actually make your move abroad. Number five saving tips, and other financial things to think about. Think about other things that you unnecessarily spend your money on. And by cutting back on those, you will be able to reduce the amount of time that you need to save money. Because if you do cut out some things that aren't necessities, you will be able to hit your savings goal faster and get to make your dream of moving abroad a reality sooner. A few things that we personally looked at when we were making our moves abroad and trying to save our money, is that we looked at like our monthly subscriptions to things and what we were kind of just indulging in and what we actually needed. And I would go get my nails done every month because I like, you know, I like looking fresh, like going to the salon. Sometimes I'll get my hair done. And you know, then I was like, I could probably just paint my nails at home and they look good. And you know, we would go out to eat a lot, but then we're like, if we cook at home, it's actually, a lot cheaper to just buy groceries and cook. So these might be a few of the things you wanna look at as well. And think about what you are willing to sacrifice in order to make your moving abroad goals just that much more streamlined and that much more of a reality. And something else that will help you reach your financial goal faster is if you sell the stuff that you have before you move. If you have a couch or a car or a fridge or things like that that you can sell and offload, that money can go straight towards your goal and get you there faster. Another tip that has the potential to save you more money is to look into different travel credit cards. You may be able to get one that has zero foreign transaction fees. The one I personally have been using for years is the Chase Sapphire credit card. I have zero foreign transaction fees whenever we swipe it overseas. And all the points that you get back, you can either cash in or put towards plane tickets or hotels or car rentals. So it really is an incredible credit card and we've linked it down below if you're interested in looking into it. If you have any financial tips and tricks, be sure to let us know in the comments below. And for more helpful videos about moving abroad, check out the playlist over here. And be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Don't forget to hit the like button.